Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to another unboxing and weekly pickups video. This is for release day, November 17th. And boy, do we have a big release week. So, I hope everybody is doing great, getting ready for the big Thanksgiving feast next week. But uh, as I mentioned, a really big week. A lot of stuff I picked up and a lot of stuff I didn't pick up. So we're definitely going to kind of run through everything together as usual. I know this video is late. It is Friday today. I tried to get it out earlier, but as usual these days, a lot of stuff getting delayed through Amazon. So it took a little bit for the last and final items to show up. Which wasn't a bad thing because I actually did get a few other boxes that showed up this week that uh, I'm able to throw in this video. Uh, we got these two from Amazon and then I also got these two packages of nothing new for the week. But uh, we got a package here from Vinegar Syndrome. Oh, actually that's the top one. Vinegar Syndrome finally took forever to get these. And then uh, this package down here from Ronin Flicks. And then I do have four items here that I picked up in store. But before we get into all that goodness, you guys, as usual, if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you guys never miss out on new videos. And if you enjoyed this video here today, please give it a like. Okay, so getting into the stuff I didn't pick up for the week. So we did get some new 4K stuff this week. The Crudes from DreamWorks got released to 4K. And I have yet to pick up anything on 4K from DreamWorks. I'm sure I will eventually, but so far we have a few. We got like the uh, How to Train Your Dragons, Abominable, the I think the Trolls movies are on 4K. I know I definitely will pick up the Shreks when they come to 4K because they're my all-time favorite DreamWorks. But yeah, the Crudes came to 4K for the first time this week. And then uh, there's a a big Resident Evil 4K set that came out this week that looks pretty cool. A lot of people are getting up on. It's not exclusive anywhere, um, so you can pretty much get it like at Best Buy or Amazon. I think the majority of those movies have come to 4K. I just don't know for sure if all of them have or just some because I've never really gotten into the Resident Evil movies. So, But anyways, that looks like a pretty cool set that came out this week. We got a uh, complete series of the Terminator in one box set. Uh, I believe Walmart was selling that. I think Actually, I think Walmart, Target, and Buy Best Buy all have it. Uh, but yeah, it's just all six movies in one Blu-ray set. And then for like new titles this week, we got a movie called The Broken Hearts Gallery and a movie called Words on Bathroom Walls. And then another like horror title, thriller or something like that came out this week called The Last Laugh. I actually did order that, but it's going to be a little bit later. I'm not going to get it till next week. But something looks kind of interesting, like some comedian is about to like put on this big, huge show and apparently there's like this murder in the building killing people or something. I don't know. It looked interesting, so I picked that up. So as you can see, a lot of stuff came out this week, and that's not even including what I did get. So we're going to go ahead and get into that now. I'm going to start with the packages, and then we will end with the, uh, the titles I picked up uh, in store. So we're going to kick things off with the two packages of titles that weren't new for the week. So the Vinegar Syndrome and then the Ronin Flicks box. Four new Vinegar Syndrome titles that I picked up. I pre-ordered these a long time ago and I believe they were supposed to be released at the end of October. But Vinegar Syndrome is way behind and my package didn't even get shipped until like a week ago. And I finally got it, thankfully. So some really cool stuff in here. I'll go ahead and crack her open and take a look. And I'm really excited because uh, our, I already got one item uh, pre-ordered right now for Vinegar Syndrome's uh, Black Friday sale that they do every year. And it's going on next week, I believe next Thursday. And uh, there's uh, some you know new stuff that they always announce, some new slipcovers of titles that never had slipcovers. So Craig and I are just super stoked for that as usual. So, all right. So I'm just pulling these out of here. Four titles here. I think one of them is a little bit older, and then the other three should be like fairly, you know, some of the most recent releases. God, 
I just love vinegar syndrome releases. Even though it's annoying how long it takes to get them, it's worth it in the end. All right, first up here, you guys, this is the one that I think was a little bit older than the other ones. Uh, Memorial Valley Massacre. This one looks pretty badass. So this one, Cemeterio del Terror. <laughs> I think it's actually called a Cemetery of Terror. But, and again, with Vinegar Syndrome, a lot of these are foreign films. So, but this is pretty cool. It's so like the eyes are kind of, kind of glow. The titles or whatever are always embossed. Under here, it actually says Cemetery of Terror. So, Who Done It? Really cool looking slip on that one. Seven People Are Dead and You're Next. That's cool. This is embossed, the hands embossed. Most of this stuff is just like, looks like just good cheese, so. All right, now this is the big one. This is another 4K title. I think this is their third 4K now. A movie called Deadly Games Dial Code, uh, Dial Code Santa Claus. And I'm glad I got this in time for the holidays. I cannot wait to watch this because Craig has seen this. He told me it's awesome. Uh, you got to watch it with uh, subtitles because it's in a different language. But uh, apparently it's a pretty fast-paced movie and it it's kind of like, slightly like Home Alone uh, from what I hear. There's this killer Santa Claus or something. This kid like sets up traps or something to get him. I don't know. Santa Claus live. Do you want to play with me? I don't know. Cool looking slip. But yeah, 4K title. Kind of a weird title to get a 4K for, but... All right, there's four new titles from Vinegar Syndrome. That's awesome. Let's move on. Next up here is the package from Ronin Flicks. I'm excited to open this up. This is something I debated about when it first got announced. It's not that old. I think they uh, announced this and it got released maybe a few weeks ago, something like that. And it's a box set of a certain franchise and it's uh, exclusively through Ronin Flicks. And like I said, I at first I didn't get it because I already own these movies on individual Blu-ray, but I ended up watching a couple videos on YouTube of people unboxing these and it, it looked like a really cool set. And being a horror collector, it's like, it looked like something I had to have. So it, it ran about, I think 60 bucks, something like that. So pretty spendy, but it looks worth it. It looks like a, a really nice set, so. All right. And comes in its own little packaging, which is kind of cool. All right. Here we go. So here's the box. Ronin Flicks. That's pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and just open this up together. So there you go, you guys. I spit on your grave. Here is the packaging. Got some new art on there. And then you get, uh, of course, the original film, uh, the recent uh, sequel uh, that they put out, and then Growing Up with I Spit on Your Grave, so it must be some kind of documentary. And it looks like there's a book in there. Let me take a look here at what you get with this. Okay, so you got some magnets of, like, some movie posters, I believe. I think there's a couple in there. That's pretty cool. And then we do get, uh, looks like, two posters in here. Let's take a look at them. So the first poster is... The original film, original poster, that's pretty cool. And then we get the new movie, I Spit in Your Grave, Deja Vu. And then the back, you get the, the new art poster. So that's pretty neat that you get all that with it. Okay, so we got a nice uh, thick box, that's pretty cool. And then here's our movies. There's the original one, and uh, I think we do get some alternate artwork, yeah. So this is, uh, you know, the other title, Day of the Woman. The special features and stuff on the back there, read what it's about, go ahead and pause. Yeah, it's cool that they put them in the clear amrays. And then the sequel, Deja Vu. If you guys want to read up on that one. And then this doesn't have any alternate artwork, but I mean, it doesn't flip over, but it, you know, we do have a picture there, which is cool. And I guess the original girl uh, that played in the, um, or, you know, the original movie, I uh, actually came back for the sequel, you know, so that's, that's uh, pretty cool. And then here is the, a documentary by Terry Zarki, Grown Up with I Spit in Your Grave. 
Here's the back if you guys want to read up on that. And then we do get a, here's the disc. We do get a picture on the inside there as well. And then I don't know if I showed you the discs on these. So, um, I mean, if you guys are a fan of these movies, definitely, definitely recommend picking up this, uh, this box set because it's nice. And then there's our booklet, which is always nice to have, you know, you guys know what comes in these booklets, you know, production stuff, pictures, you know, just a bunch of stuff on the movie. I love this set, man. This is great. I'm glad I ended up picking this up. This is going to look good in the collection. All right, moving on to the Amazon packages now. We got two of them here. Both of these should have new titles for the week, so... Got. First one here is a uh, new Shout Select from Shout Factory. This is number 113, first time to Blu-ray, and that is Twins with, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. So happy that this finally came to, to Blu-ray. This is great. The other title that they were both in together, Junior, that came to Blu-ray for the first time, I think a year or two ago. And now we finally got this one. That's great. So it doesn't really look like a lot of special features, unfortunately. Right there, if you guys want to read about that, read what the movie's about. It's a funny movie. These guys are great together. I wish they would have done more. Apparently, they've been talking about doing a uh, second movie for a while now called uh, Triplets, I guess. Should be interesting if they ever get that made. So, really happy that Shell Factory put this out. Okay, and the last package here from Amazon should be two more titles in here. Let's see what we got. The 4K... Steelbook 4, It's a Wonderful Life. Check that out. That's awesome. This came to 4K already, I think, last year, I believe. Don't really remember, but now we got this really nice Steelbook. I'll go ahead and uh, open this up so we can take a look at it. Alrighty, so I'll just show you the discs real quick. 4K is black. Nothing special on the discs. Whoop. And then you do get Blu-ray with it as well. Just a blue disc. And then digital code. Here's the Steelbook. There's the front. The back is great. We get that great quote on the back. This is kind of a glossy still book. There's the spine. And beautiful shot on the inside there. That's pretty cool. Little mini poster. Kind of a nice addition. But uh, here is the uh, J card if you guys want to check out the special features and whatnot. But uh, yeah, just cool to have a still book for just a classic movie. And then the other one from this package here is a new Screen Factory IFC Midnight title called Relic. This looked pretty good. Definitely want to pick this up for the Screen Factory collection. Uh, you get Emily Mortimer, Robin Nevin, Bella Heathcott, Heathcote, however you say that. If you guys want to read about this and <laughs> check out the special features, audio descriptive track and a trailer. Boy, that's just packed with special features <laughs> right there. But yeah, if you guys want to read about that here, it looked pretty freaky, so I had to, had to grab that. So, all right, you guys, that's everything uh, to unbox. Let's go ahead now and look at the titles I picked up in store. Okay, so we got four here. First one I'm going to show you is the brand new Russell Crowe film called Unhinged. I've already watched this with my parents. I loved it. Oh, it was so good, you guys. Awesome, awesome movie. You know, basically like a suspense thriller movie, and it just had me on the edge of my seat the whole time, you guys. Russell Crowe, amazing performance. I think he put on a good, he had to put on a good 50, 60 pounds or something for this movie, because he he's definitely uh, a lot bigger in this movie than, than usual. It's got a lot of uh, falling down vibes, if you guys ever seen that. Michael Douglas, but a little bit more intense. Definitely more on the horror side of things than Falling Down was, because Falling Down isn't necessarily horror. It's more of a suspense a crime movie or whatever you want to call it. A fantastic performance by Russell Crowe, you guys. It also has uh, that kid, uh, the main kid in here is uh, was uh, the new Andy Barkley in the Child's Play remake. I remember watching when I was watching the movie, I'm I was trying to figure out who that kid was. Like, I've seen him before. And then I looked it up, and it was, uh, yeah, the new Andy Barkley from uh, Child's Play. But if you guys want to check out uh, what this is about, read the special features, kind of small print there. I don't know if you can, but, yeah, highly recommend this movie, you guys. The other one here that I picked up I haven't watched yet. I picked this up at Best Buy. And this is a movie called Death of Me. This couple watches this video. I don't know how they get it, but they watch this, like, video of 
one of one of them killing the other and they're trying to figure it out. I don't know. It's re it just sounded really interesting. It's got uh, Maggie Q, Luke Hemsworth in it. This was released by Lionsgate. Okay, and takes us to the last and final title for the week, which definitely is the big one, and that is the brand new X-Men film, The New Mutants. Definitely had to pick this up on 4K. Fortunately, the uh, Blu-ray didn't come with a slipcover. Uh, I don't know, Disney has been doing that a lot. I mean, it is a Disney title, but it's Fox. Disney owns Fox, so. Apparently, it's supposed to be the last film in the X-Men franchise. I don't know, right now they're in that transition phase where they're supposed to be incorporating the X-Men into the MCU now. Well, since Disney owns like the Fox uh, movies, that means that they can incorporate like the Fantastic Four and X-Men into the mix now. And um, I think they're in the middle of doing that, which means that by doing that, they're going to have to like kind of reboot the X-Men franchise because I don't think they can just take this story and put it into it. I, I, I don't know. But anyways... I haven't watched this yet because I still got to watch the last one, which was uh, Dark Phoenix. I've yet to watch that movie. So I'm going to watch that first and then, you know, then I'll get onto this. But yeah, just happy to have this. You know, I got to get all the X-Men movies. And then, of course, I had to get the exclusive. And this was the only exclusive. There was no Target exclusive this week for the New Mutants. I don't know why, but this is the uh, Best Buy exclusive still book for uh, New Mutants, which is pretty cool looking. I thought it'd be a little bit cooler if it was in Boston, but you know, it's not in Boston anyway, but kind of like a mix between matte and glossy a little bit, but there's the front, there's the back, spine, and then we'll take the discs out. Here's the 4K disc. You get some art on that. And then the Blu-ray disc is kind of cool. And then here's the inside. All right, you guys, all the pickups for the week. We got ourselves a really nice stack there of some good stuff. Heck yeah. So now next week, I think it's going to be the first week in a long time where I'm not going to do one of these videos. Most likely, um, there really isn't anything big coming out next week. It's it's kind of a very light week. The only one I know offhand is this new Schwarzenegger movie coming out called um, Iron Mask from, I think, Lionsgate. I can't remember. But that's really the only one even worth mentioning because, like I said, a very light week, nothing big. So I probably won't be doing a weekly video, which will be a good thing because it'll give me time to work on more of my uh, collection videos. I got a few more to do. I'm still in the process of working on the still book uh, portion of the collection series. So definitely be on the lookout for that coming very soon. And then uh, the following week, as we get into December, uh, December 1st and December 8th, very first uh, Tuesdays of the month, are pretty packed with stuff, you guys. A lot of really good stuff coming out. So we'll take a break next week, and then uh, we'll get right back into it the following week. So, all right, everybody, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize that, uh, again, that it was a little late, but not really much I can do when Amazon uh, delays things. So Anyways, you guys, uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me uh, know what you guys picked up for the week. Let me know what you guys think of my pickups. And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.